Hello and welcome back everyone to La Milana Randomizer Part 20 on Rocket Rabbit Commentaries. And in this episode, after successfully acquiring the Medicine of the Mind, which is actually the Medicine of Life, it just is, isn't called that, we will be continuing on and exploring what is hopefully an entirely new area for our playthrough. We're almost done for the record. We just have to go and do what is the, the mantra puzzle and... Oh, look! That finally opened. Woohoo! That Yay. is the shortcut that will allow us to get from the top of the Tower of the Goddess to this section of the Tower of the Goddess without uh, having to fall all the way down or climb all the way up. Travel is fun. I see All right, you. and we need to go drop down here. Uh, the, the, the tone play. There we are. We have acquired the mantra for Bahran, which is uh, the ocean where uh, where Bahamut lives. So, how many more mantras do we got to collect? We have birth, death, Bahran, I think. The one we're getting for... Damn it! I hate that. All right, the one that we're attempting to get now is Sabbat, and, or Sabbat, which requires us to go... Still not open. Open. <laughs> okay. So, Sabat requires us to go to the middle of this particular... Damn it! I, I <laughs> fucking hate this part. I do, man. <sighs> <laughs> oh, so... Okay. So <laughs> that is... That, that, <laughs> no! <laughs> no, you got... Okay, so remember, the lesson here is... Screen transition. Then press jump button. No, press jump button before screen before transition. Before dra uh -huh. screen transition. And then jump in order to evade Dick Monkey who lowers trap. Damn it. <laughs> no, that is where we want to be. Okay. Not damn it. Yay. All right. There. So, now, we have gotten the, now we have gotten the Sabat mantra. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. We need two left. I will give you those things you thought are real. The sun, the moon, the stars, all bear my seal. Hey, we put in the first wedge. Woohoo! Yeah. Now, the reason why we have to uh, chant that wedge is because in order to successfully slay the mother, or otherwise known as La Moana herself, what we have to do is we have to go around to all uh, all eight major areas and figure out where to and figure out where to chant the uh, mantras in order to drive the ma the magical seal set up by the philosophers long time ago. Um, into into the appropriate areas. This is me screwing this up again somehow. It's uh, I, I believe that you are forgiven for any errors at this point. My God, the randomizer. Uh, well, it forces you to take a very specific course of action every single time. Where a lot of where of course non-randomized games, which are fixed and the same every time you play the game from start to finish. We'll get you into these habits, and these habits will be shattered to pieces. Yes, they will. As I'm sure that you had to break formula quite a bit in order to pull off this achievement. Um, not as much as you'd think, to be perfectly honest. I mean, on, on entrance randomizer, certainly, but for the normal, for a normal randomizer, not so much. Like, uh, for... Uh, entrance. What the big thing that you have to remember for entrance randomizer is that it, at least for God damn it, at least for me, uh, you still need to actually uh, you still need to actually do the uh, the mon the mantra puzzle. Mm -hmm. And the mantra puzzle is the thing that I like the least about the normal game. I have never figured out how to do the mantra puzzle on my own. I got it spoiled for me during DC's uh, original run, and it's like, yeah, I. I attempted to figure it out uh, uh, for Twin Labyrinth on my own before, and it just did not make as much sense to me as it was supposed to. So, yeah. Uh, for the mantra puzzle, Abuja. and specific, there are two puzzles in the game that I totally think that if you're having trouble with, it is okay to cheat with. It is the room, uh, the room of gem and the room of gems and weights, and uh, the uh, the mantra puzzle. Those two, uh, those two specifically, I believe, are totally are totally worthwhile uh, for a new for players that are not comfortable uh, with uh, these puzzles uh, to cheat for. Because uh, the mantra puzzle, uh, to be perfectly honest, is not all that well explained. Um, 
it has a it has a lot of explanation attached to it, but it's not. But it's a, it's quite a bit confusing with the with the language that it wants to do. And I don't think that any of the philosophers actually explain how you're supposed to know what room to drive the wedges into. The upgraded map is a great uh, is a great tool for it, but I think the upgraded map is the only real thing that allows you to know where you're supposed to where you're supposed to uh, chant the mantras. Well, we see increasingly where the game draws the line between optional achievement and mandatory achievement for game completion. A lot of optional achievement would be some of the more cryptic shit that you literally would not understand nor think was a thing unless somebody explained it to you. Uh, Hi, Anubis. We're here to fight you this time. And he's here to dance. Oh, we still don't... Oh, we still don't have the book... Uh, no, we had the Book of the Dead. No, uh, yeah, uh. we read him a lullaby. He went to sleep immediately. And now that he has been vanquished, we are going to kill Lord Barris once again while checking our we don't have bright the we don't yellow have the, Game Boy the, Color. Uh, the Milana Talisman yet. Damn. Huh. So, Anubis is going to come back? No. Anubis is not going to come back. Okay. But um, th without the Milana Talisman, we can't do that particular. Uh, we cannot actually uh, open that treasure chest yet. Oh, that's fine. You know, that's a good thing that the game at least gives you the option to kill the boss, even though you still have a thing to do in the boss arena, which you had to leave. But then the only thing you have to do is just return. Mm. All right. So Hi. what we're doing here is, since we have talked to all four of the philosophers. This ladder shows up. Right there. Thank God for scripting. And because we have the skull walls down, we can actually do this particular check. This is what is known as the death seal check because this is where you usually get the death seal. Um, put down both these weights, get down here. How very and suggestive. It's a map. God we have a it. map in this very penis centric room. To the surface! Away. Unfortunately, it is a it is a terrible map because it is a map that we're getting uh, uh, towards the end of the game after we've already solved the only map puzzle that we actually needed to solve. The other th big thing that's important about the Death Seal Room is the fact that if you do not have uh, the ancient Lama Longi tra translated yet, the uh, the tablet that is in there it is uh, the last third of ancient Lama Longi's translation that you need. Charge! Uh, so this is me floundering, uh, floundering about a bit, trying to actually input Baron into the appropriate spot. The uh, ba uh, Baron, is, you have in order to chant Baron successfully, you need to go into the room of gems and weights. You can do it on the ladder, and there we go. Nice. That wedge is driven. Link casted quake. All right, we are in the Inferno Cavern in order to go and get the uh, Vi Mantra. Uh, because we have, uh, I believe we have smacked the shit out of the snake statue over at the alternate part of Inferno Cavern, we should have the ability to get the, the Vi Mantra now. So it is, behind the, uh, it is behind the giant corresponding snake statue at the front of Inferno Cavern. It is arguably faster to get here through the... Uh, uh, through uh, Temple of the Sun entrance. But we also need to input the burst seal there so we can go and fight Pazuzu. Still don't have that chest yet either. Damn. Yep, there we are. That's not the right item that we need. We need the hand scanner. Yay, we got the V mantra. And I think that's all the mantras now. V? Uh, v is the fifth mantra. Ah. Uh. Right? Monosyl uh, monosyllabic me, me codes um, of power. The mantras are... No. Uh, Lamalana is one. Abuto is two. Uh, Ni. What is Elmax mantra? No. No. <laughs> I don't remember what El what uh, <laughs> Elmax... Uh, Wedget. Wedget is Elmax mantra. Baron is four. Yes. Uh, and uh, so, so yes, V is uh, mantra number five. Ow. Lingering Yes, the fire. salamanders spew fire out of their ass. It is not nice of them. No, don't step in shit, or you'll spread it. Ah, uh, uh, I thought he was going to land on his head. Yeah, we crushed the lizard. 
Mm. Salamander. Why are we going in circles? We are going in circles because now we are going to go fight Pazuzu because we are in desperate need of the Molana Talisman and I'm out of areas to go check. But unfortunately, I'm doing this particular puzzle the correct way instead of the instead of the cheat instead of the cheat way. Uh, so it takes me it takes me multiple attempts to go through it. There was a pathway that is a right puzzle there. that if you have the if you have the grapple claw is uh, is that is how you're supposed to do it if you have the grapple claw. But once you have the feather, you no longer need the grapple claw to solve it. So hi, Pazuzu. Well, you gotta first figure out that there is actually a doohickey in the swim, and then you aim your cockafanny right at that ass. And now that we have found the secret hidden boss, you may exit the Dungeon of Triumph. <laughs> Ouch. Alright. Be careful with this puzzle. This is one of the other puzzles that you can screw yourself out of permanently. We got the anchor. Okay, now that we have the this anchor, we have. Uh, now that we have the anchor, we have the ability to go and do an area that I have been holding off for the entirety of the game because we did not have the anchor in order to start it. So <laughs> let us go into this. Uh, let us go into the final field. So this is a case of the randomizer giving you a very early game item, very very late in the game. Uh, no, Anchor is technically a mid-game item, to be perfectly honest. But the, but the timing was a little late. Yes, very late. That's funny. Mm. Alright. Welcome back to Gate Evolution. And in this episode of us going into the Gate Evolution for like the third goddamn time, we are actually able to make progress. Snakes. All right, fall down here. Snakes. Backwards through the teleporter. Get a bomb for free. <laughs> that teleporter instantly made me think of the banana warp from Donkey Kong 64. I am not familiar with that particular warp. So, in every... This is, this is what I like about Donkey Kong 64, is that the game formula actually is it loads a map, Every map has five warp points, and each of these warp points corresponds to another warp point that is its counterpart, which you can warp back and forth from, and there are five of these. But the warping animation is a Kong getting zipped up into a banana peel, and then the banana peel unzips again, and so, and he's gone. But where did he go? <laughs> ah. It's, it's pretty dope. Alright, so... For for being for our reward for act for finally starting Gate Evolution was getting the chain uh, the chain whip which we have our, uh, which thankfully we have progressed past of for a uh, for a significant amount of time so it does not actually downgrade our flail whip into the chain whip man we just had to flash the badges at Indigo Plateau that was a lot of weights we had to satisfy yeah Gate Evolution is also a bit weight heavy it's not as weight heavy as Chamber of Birth is da -da -da -da. but it, but it can be a bit annoying. Damn it! I was I was not supposed to fall down here because there's another there's another check over uh, in the in a, a couple rooms to the right that we were supposed to do. Uh, and now it's chest. gonna and now it's gonna be until the end of the game before I can actually uh, go back and get it. But by solving uh, by solving the check your bad uh, check your badges puzzle, we have access to this area. Peekaboo. Move this over here so we can actually access the ladder because th in this game you cannot jump onto ladders, whereas you can in the second game. <sighs> I'm still not doing Lama Lana 2. I can't Peek finish it. I, I get to Eternal Prison and I'm like, nope, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> it's more of the same. No. No. No! <laughs> uh. It's a different no, specifically because that no is a uh, fuel is fueled by uh ha is fueled by my uh, lack of combat skills. Ah, mm. uh, drops down. Bones moving okay. helper. How can we serve you? All right. Duck. Let's use our miracle witch and you run duck dot xe. Run get to the ground dot xe. Run, yeah, stop right. hurting yourself, Dex. <laughs> Use the katana to break open this floor. Dex. What if Lamulana? Okay, that is a very long executable <laughs> name. What if 
What if our hero is actually just a robot running running programs this entire time? And he is only realizing by finding even more components to attach to himself that he was a cyborg all along. Um, I would buy that for Lumiza, but not Lameza. <laughs> Finally, we got the Milana Talisman. And in the next episode, we will start using the, the Milana Talisman in order to go solve the accursed chest that we have access to. Because we still need to go find another a, uh, another Ankh Jewel. Ah, oh, thank God. Oh, for look, the Ankh Jewel that we were missing. Never mind. Treasure. Thank God.